This video will teach you how to use and how to throw away your fentanyl patch. The fentanyl patch has pain medicine in it, which passes through your skin into your blood. If you are using the patch only for pain you have had for a long time, that's chronic pain. You should be using fentanyl to treat pain that you've had for a long time. Only your doctor can prescribe the patch after a visit with you. Use intact patches. Never cut the patches or use damaged patches. If you use cut or damaged patches, you could get an overdose or too much medicine. Don't put your patch on broken skin. Only put your patch on skin that has no cuts or sores. Do not shave the place where you are going to put the patch. While you are wearing your fentanyl patch, follow the directions. Use the patches just the way your provider tells you to. This will help keep you from having bad side effects such as breathing problems or getting too sleepy. Patches are usually changed once every three days. Your patch can be put on your upper arm or on your upper chest. Do not put the patch on your back because sweat can cause the patch to fall off. Sweat can also change how much medicine passes into your skin. Do not use more patches than your provider told you to. Take off the old patch before you put on a new patch. If the patch makes the skin under it raw, red, or bumpy, tell your provider. You can try putting the patch on a different place on your upper arm or upper chest. There are other ways to keep your skin from getting raw, red, or bumpy under the patch. You can spray Flonase onto your skin before putting on your patch. You will need to get Flonase prescription from your provider. Do not let your patches get too warm. When your skin gets too warm, it takes in too much medicine from your patch. When you are wearing a fentanyl patch, do not let it get too close to things that will make it hot, such as heating pad, electric blanket, sauna, hot tub, heated water bed, too much sun or hot weather. Do not wear tight clothes over the patch. Do not get a lot of exercise as this can heat up your body. It is okay to use Tegaderm over the patch or body tape around the edges of the patch to hold it in place on your skin. Don't wear your patch during an MRI. An MRI is a test that uses powerful magnets and radio waves to take pictures of the organs inside your body. There is hidden metal in your patch and if it is left on during an MRI, you could get a burn. While you're in the hospital, your nurse will take off the patch before setting you for an MRI. When at home, take off your patch before going to an MRI, then put the patch on again after getting home from the MRI. Call 911 right away if you have an overdose of fentanyl. Signs of an overdose are trouble breathing, shallow or very slow breathing, feeling very sleepy, not being able to think, talk, or walk as you usually do, or feeling faint, dizzy, or confused. If you just feel dizzy but are breathing like you usually do, take off the patch and call your provider. How to throw away and how to store your patches. While you're in the hospital, your nurse will throw away your patches. Your patch will be put on your upper arm or chest and covered by Tegaderm. If the patch falls off, let your nurse know as soon as possible. When you are at home, safely throw away your used patches or patches you don't need by folding the sticky sides together and flushing them down the toilet. Most medicines should not be flushed down the toilet, but the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has said that this is a safe way to throw fentanyl away. 
Another way to throw away used patches or patches you don't need is to fold the sticky sides together and put them in a closed can or bottle of coffee grounds or cat litter. Then throw the can or bottle in the trash. Some of the medicine stays in each patch even after it has been used and this could harm others who touch it. Store patches safely. Keep new patches where children or pets cannot find or reach them. Do not call your fentanyl patches stickers, tattoos, or band-aids. Do not let children see you put on the patches. If they see you, children might try to do the same thing they see you doing. Call 911 immediately if you think a child has eaten or touched a patch. Please call your nurse or pharmacist if you have any questions.